Hello everybody, this is a video on PodConnect. It's from the creators of Merchant Former. And it's basically software that allows you to upload unique designs and ideas to hundreds of different uh, products across um, like 30 different platforms or maybe it's, yeah, 30 different marketplaces. So, I mean, you have Wish and Shopify, eBay, Printful, Amazon, Etsy, Teespring. I mean, you name it. There's a ton of options that all it will automatically check for listings for trademark infringement. It does run $19.99 a month. Uh, there is a three free day trial. So this is just a quick overview. What I would suggest doing is Neil has made a bunch of videos for it. I would recommend watching those videos in depth and then going from there. Uh, it does work for PC and for Mac, just so you know. And so it is a pretty interesting tool. It does do a lot of stuff. I haven't even really scratched the surface of all the things that it can do. So I'm going to come over here to the software. Um, something you'll need to do is create a CSV file. So I went ahead and already created one. Uh, let's see here. Actually, this is not the one I wanted. Close. Here we go. So you go ahead, you create title, description, tags, price, and then image path. And then you just go through and so go ahead and create all this you have tags description your title make sure they line up and then uh, your image path you can get by clicking on a file and up here at the top it says copy path you can just click on that I have Windows 10 just so you know so you can click on that and then paste it in there so basically you want to go ahead and create a file like this and then let's see then once you've created that file, you come over here. We're going to go pod connect. And here, here is the two shirts that I've done and links to the actual files. Uh, otherwise, you can do title description tags and then come over here and then upload the files manually if you would like. So I'm going to come over to services. I'm going to check out Teespring. Here you have the product, the picture, image path, again, You've created that in the CSV file, title, description. If you have an existing product that you wanted to add or existing URL slash product and you want to add more products, you can. Uh, for this one, I'm going to do the classic tee, the premium tee, and the classic tank top. Those are the three that I'm going to do. And so let's come down here. I'm going to do just black. I just want to keep it simple. So uh, black shirt. Uh, simple design just to kind of show you guys down here you have the different default colors price so um, here we're just gonna I'm just gonna keep the the price that they have selected I'm not gonna change the price but you could if you wanted to so I went ahead and just double check over everything and make sure then you're gonna come over here to uploader and then you'd go ahead and choose Teespring. You can check your trademarks if you want. This one says Big Data. I'm going to come over here. Goods and Services. Oh, Hats and Shirts. So it looks like somebody trademarked this. Uh, four hats and shirts. So, anyways, um, let's see, mark information, standard mark, related properties. Hmm. Interesting. Anyways. I'm going to actually go back here. I'm going to do it anyways. And then, as you can see, this one, there is no issues. Just just to show you guys, I mean, well, the worst case scenario is somebody files a complaint with Teespring and they take it down, but I'm not actually really worried about it. Seems odd that they would allow them to uh, trademark the word big data, but whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and hit start uploading 
Uh, there's a good chance I will need to... Oh no, it's going through. A lot of times what you'll need to do is you'll need to log in and fill out a CAPTCHA. Right now it's actually just going through because I did do a shirt earlier to test it out, try it out. So, but, so just, uh, just so you know. But yeah, the trademark thing, it is important to double check those. Uh, Amazon, you get, from what I understand, you get strikes on you for trademark. Some other sites, they'll just, like I've gotten a trade, I've gotten in trouble on Redbubble before. Not really in trouble, but I uploaded a shirt, and then they sent a th They just took it down. They said, "Oh, someone complained. You can't have this." They just took it down. They didn't. Pen they don't. They don't close down your whole store or anything like that, um, unless you're like basically ripping. Like if you're just ripping a bunch of people off, but if you're you know making a legitimate design, most of the time they just take down that design and say, "Sorry, you can't uh, sell that shirt anymore." It's like, okay, I mean, there's so many designs and so many different things that you can make that, um, but anyways, just so you know, something to keep in mind, everybody, different companies are more strict than other ones. So for merch, I would not upload, I would try not to upload anything that is going to violate, you know, trademark, but. But for other, you know, other a lot of times these other companies like Redbubble and T Public and stuff like that, they'll just take down. If they get a complaint, they'll just take down your design and that's it. Same thing with Etsy too. Usually they'll just take it down. I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't make it a habit. Um, but it, again, it's you know, so let's go ahead. It's uploading, and there are several services that this works for. So you can do Printful. I'm going to cl click over to that to that right this is working so these are the different integrations for printful uh, shopify etsy ebay wish uh, amazon marketplace uh, shipstation has a workaround for walmart so there's all these different options that you can do uh, printify is another option they're similar to printful they basically integrate with other platforms um, so redbubble so oh there we go boom so those are those both worked and they both got uploaded so i'll go over there and show them to you so let's go over to t oops oh sorry i can't type there you go let's go over to listings on teespring and so there you go Coffee scrubs and rubber gloves. Let's go back. Uh, I love it when you call me Big Data. I've actually had this design for a long time before the trademark was even done. Of course. So, um, but back then, nobody, people were trademarking everything and nobody really would fight it there I guess people are fighting trademarks now but and then um, and maybe technically the word love triangle is trademarked but the way this is designed it, it's possible that it's gonna be okay I've never had anybody complain about it so just so you know um, so that's a uh, so these are just some of the designs. I honestly didn't do much with Teespring. I just started. Um, I just started recently when I started messing around with uh, um, this Pod Connect here. Again, they have Teespring, Redbubble, Spreadshirt, Printify, Zazzle. So, and I thought I'd give you guys a little nugget uh, instead of waiting to the, or basically waiting to the end of the video. Um, so a little nugget, nugget for niche is one of my most popular shirts is a league shirt. So you know how people are in leagues, softball leagues, um, bowling leagues, things like that. Well, if you go to Google and you Google bowling leagues or bowling league names, softball league names, stuff like that, people will have hilarious names. And then you take those names and you create a shirt from those names, right? And so... I'm not going to tell you the exact shirt or niche, but one of my shirts 
is basically a lot of times people will buy like multiples of it at a time for their team, you know. So you know they have a team, they like this name, they make that they put the name you got to put the name of the team on the shirt so you know let's say it's a bowling um or we'll, we'll just go to google and we'll kind of check it out so google let's go bowling league names right so there you go you can do uh yeah split happens so you can make a shirt and put split happens on it obviously you don't want to copy this because this is customink.com so it looks like they already have uh, some sh bowling league. There you go. Spare me bipolar rollers. Start with a template. Looks like basically with this, there's here they're showing you how to create your own shirt, right? So, but they're giving you names. So go come over here and elbow benders. Go create your own shirt. Call it elbow benders, and you know the title would be elbow benders bowling league, and then you know. Uh, I wouldn't use kingpins. That's probably, you know, that might be an issue with that movie. Again, so uh, bipolar rollers, uh, you know, turkey baggers, the bowling stones. <laughs> Some of these you might not be able to uh, use for for trademark slash copyright reasons. But if you just got so just to give you an idea. But as you can see, um, how we roll. But uh, you just find a bunch of names and you create shirts around these names. And a lot of times you'll get like, a you know, um, three, four, five, six sales at a time because they're buying them for their team. So, but anyways, that's just a little tip. And then you can use, go ahead, create your shirts, upload them to all these different um, print-on-demand platforms, right? And then, so you got them all over the web. And that's a great way. I mean, and this is endless. I mean, the number of team names, and this is just bowling. Um, you know, there's probably, you could do some more searching. You could probably find 200 at least of bowling team names. And that's just bowling. And then you get into softball and everything. And I was even thinking of the, um, there's leagues now for uh, online gaming, those online gaming. So if you found some, good names for like these online gaming and create shirts around that that would be really cool too so strike queens gutter girls you know some of these are pretty bad um stealth bowlers i still like split happens um here for the beer that could be used that could be multiple different league names i like living on a spare you know some of you might not be able to upload some of these to merch, but you should be able to upload them to like Redbubble and all these other platforms because they don't really care, you know, snakes on a lane. <laughs> so just create, and you could create 200, like I said, 200 bowling shirts, upload them, you know, just keep going down, bowling, softball, so on, it's, you know, yada, yada, and then there you go. So anyways, that's a good little tip that you could use to combine with your uh, pod connect if you want i'll have a link down below in the description if you're interested and um, if you have any questions drop up drop them down below but again uh, if you go and you search uh, merch informer on youtube he has tons of videos more in-depth videos on how to use it so you can go over there and watch those videos if you want and uh, that's it if you have any more questions feel free to drop them down below and have a great day thanks